I debated telling this story, but it might just be too good. I might just have to tell y'all anyway. The cemetery. All right? It don't stop there, though. Now, I went to the cemetery for some peace and damn quiet. Okay? Now, I knew damn well wasn't nobody going to be messing with me at the cemetery. If they did, they got something wrong. We're going to leave people alone at the cemetery, right? I go there, and I park to have my faux Sackley's chicken salad, which is usually on a weekly basis. Okay? I'm there all of 20 minutes. And I see this other car come through. I don't think anything about it. You know, probably somebody on lunch break coming to visit a family member. Um, and, I mean, I do that weekly. But they parked, like, further down, but where I could still see them. Fine with me. Yep, they weren't close enough to even bother me to, for it to get go. And if they would have gotten out of vehicle come towards me, I could have backed out faster than they walked to me, right? Anyway, I start flipping through the book face trying to, you know, be nosy on some people, see what everybody else is doing, right? All of a sudden, I look up, and that vehicle is moving up and down. Now, it ain't moving up and down like somebody's getting situated putting the seatbelt on, all right? You know exactly what's happening, because it was moving up and down all of a good 14 minutes. 14, I counted. I mean, I didn't count, but I put the timer on, was figuring, you know, I mean, yes, I was being that damn nosy. And all I was thinking is, like, who the hell's in this vehicle for one, all right? Because why would somebody come here to do that for 14 minutes, okay? Only somebody trying to hide, right? Anyway, so I continued on the book face. Next thing I know, just a few moments later, a black car pulls up. And I'm like, okay, what is happening, all right? Black car pulls up directly behind the truck. The truck is still sitting there. This red-headed lady gets out the car, and I'm thinking, oh, shit. Okay? She gets out the car, walks right up to the passenger side, flings out. I watch all this, okay? I, my eyes is not leaving. Flings open a passenger door. She grabbed that blind-headed little lady out that door and dragged her on the ground. Then I seen the dude jump out the driver's seat, come around the back. Mallory, let go of her. I mean, her name was Mallory, the wife. I'm assuming this was a wife and a side chick and a piece of crap husband. All right. Anyway, she beat the ever-living hell out of her. I was like, well, damn, thank goodness this is a damn cemetery because she might need it. 